In this new release, we've got some exciting new features that will help you harness the power of your data to make better decisions with the Aspire Health Scorecard. Manage schedule changes with ease with the new bulk schedule feature. Track why opportunities were lost with the new Opportunity Lost Reasons list. Enhance time tracking with the ability to require time adjustment notes. And we've made a variety of general usability improvements to help streamline your experience in Aspire. Let's dive in. With the Health Scorecard, you can quickly evaluate your organization's key metrics and utilization of the Aspire platform. It's now available directly within Aspire. Within Reports, under the Executive category, select the Health Scorecard. Here you can choose two cohorts to compare with your company. You can select cohorts of all sizes or from less than a million to more than 30 million in revenue. If you'd like the selected cohorts to be selected by default in the future, check the Set as Default box. On the scorecard, you'll see a variety of metrics for your company compared to the two cohorts you selected. Your company's data will be refreshed weekly. The cohort data will be refreshed monthly. The colors on the metrics indicate how your organization is performing. And you can select the info icon to learn more about each group of metrics. For more details regarding any of your company's metrics, Click the blue link and you'll be taken to the corresponding page within Aspire. Just keep in mind the corresponding pages are live data, but the health scorecard data is updated weekly. Next, you can now bulk reschedule visits related to one or more work tickets. First, your user needs to have full access to the schedule board. Then, the bulk reschedule permission can be enabled. Now here's how it works. On the schedule board, right-click a visit. You'll see the option to reschedule visits. This option won't be available for visits before the current date or visits with recurring schedules. And keep in mind, only the visit you've selected and corresponding future visits from this point on will be rescheduled. Let's reschedule this visit. In the reschedule visits window, you'll see the selected visit. At the top right, select the new visit date. You can exclude weekends, weekends and Fridays, or you can schedule on all days. The old and new visits will be displayed along with any other visits associated with the same work ticket, so you can easily see the dates they'll be moved to. If there are other work tickets related to the same opportunity, you can view them as well. If you check the box, those visits will be rescheduled too. Let's save the rescheduled visits. Aspire will let you know that the visits are being rescheduled and to refresh the page in a few minutes to see the changes. During the rescheduling process, the selected visits will be locked and you'll see the status. This is so the visits don't get modified during the rescheduling process. After a few minutes, once the page is refreshed, you'll see the changes. Next, you can now enter a reason for lost opportunities, making it easier to track why an opportunity was lost. Here's how it works. When you mark an opportunity as lost, you'll be prompted to select a lost reason, which may or may not be required depending on your company's settings. Choose a reason from the menu and enter a note if needed. Keep in mind this note field was used before this release for the lost reason. So if you added lost reasons in this field prior to this release, they'll still exist in Aspire. As before, you can also select a competitor or check the box to follow up if applicable. With these updates, you can now view the lost reason and or lost notes within the opportunities page. You'll also see the lost reason and notes on the properties page and Opportunities Audit Report. The Opportunity Lost Reason list can be managed in Admin, under Application, Lists. The lost reasons you see here will be listed by default, but you can change them or add new ones. And within Configuration, Application, you can require the Opportunity Lost Reason. 
Next, we've improved time tracking with the ability to require time adjustment notes. In admin organization, this feature can be enabled within each branch. Then in the time entry screen, if a time entry is adjusted, Aspire will require a note to be added before the adjustment can be saved. Time adjustment notes can also be seen within the clock time report, making it easier to track why time adjustments were made. Before we conclude, there are a few usability improvements you need to know about. First is within site audits. When adding category tags, it's now easier to enter tags. You can either select the Add button, simply hit Enter on your keyboard, or just click Save. All three ways will ensure your tags get added to the audit. Also, when you email a site audit, the attachment title will now show the company name and will be identified as a site audit with the audit date. This will help your customers avoid confusion when you email them completed site audits. Next, in the work ticket transaction report, we've added two new fields, device name and account owner. So now you can see which devices work ticket transactions took place on and who the account owner is for each work ticket. Next, when creating a credit memo and selecting either a property or opportunity, the mouse cursor now displays as a hand so you can quickly know that you're hovering over selectable items. And once a property or opportunity is selected, if you go back to the drop-down menu, that item will remain selected and highlighted blue, making it easier to see which item you selected initially. Next, when viewing the Invoice Revenue to Costs report, we've added a field for Opportunity Ops Manager so you can quickly identify the Ops Manager for each opportunity. This field is also available on the Schedule and Event page. So now you can create lists grouped by each Ops Manager. And lastly, you can now view the Company Name field on the Weekly Time Review screen. If your organization has multiple companies, you can easily identify which company each crew member is assigned to. As you can see with this new release, you now have better insight into your data to make smarter decisions and have a more streamlined experience in Aspire.